Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know already, my name is Alicia, and if you have not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today's video is going to be a video unboxing um, video. I was gifted um, some nail polish just from Born Pretty. I will link everything down below um, what they sent me. Um, I, I believe we agreed on some gel polishes. So they package this very well. So I'm going to swatch it and show you guys. So it's the Born Pretty Professional Nail Art. It's six in there, but here's how it comes. Let me see which colors I got when I swatch it. These are gel polishes, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my little press on set and put that on for you guys. On set, ready, so we can swatch these. My nail lap is over to the other side. So I got these on and let's go ahead and swatch. I don't know if direction says, but I always shake mine up so we can get the highest pigment on here. Oh, and you guys do not mind my nails now because they look a little crusty. Okay, so this definitely was the translucent set that I got. And after this video, I actually plan on doing another video of like a pedicure set. And I want to do a French tip. And I think these would go perfect with that because, you know, like back in the day, French used to have like a clear on the bottom. But this would be cute because these are translucent. And I don't have any names on there or anything. Oh, Strawberry Party Gel Series. That's what this says. But I'm going to go ahead and put it under the lamp. And this is Miss Coco with um, one coat. Let's go ahead and try to do it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cure it again. Okay, so we're getting more of a color on here. Um, I was grabbing the wrong one. But it's coming through. But I want to do one more coat. So we're going to do three on each now. So it gets more pigment the more you build it up. And it's applying very smooth. I haven't had any trouble trouble with bubbling or anything like that. Um, so I can't wait to try these for my French tip. Uh, I should have put some lotion on before I started this. Yeah, just this is about the swatches. <laughs> so never mind my hand. <laughs> So that's the third one. Third time, we're gonna wait till that come out. So this is Miss Coco. So I'm gonna set this over here so I can put the nail right by it. So yeah, while that's Kieran, we're gonna go to, for the next one, which is Flower Wedding. Well, actually it's done so that is miss coco that's a pretty like nude color though nudish pink Ooh, flower wedding you guys see flower wedding that look like pink <laughs> let's check it out 
But yeah, I think this set will be perfect for like a, um, what's that called? A French set, a traditional French set. And these nails is just like some nails I know that I wouldn't use unless it's like for my toes or something. So I just put, pull these out. I need to get like some swatch stick sticks. Yeah. So yeah, this is a pink color, like more of a jelly hot pink. So that's what flower, flower wedding is looking like to me. And I'm going ahead and put that in right quick. I'm letting it um, cure for 30, 30 seconds each time. Okay, that came out very pretty after the cure what you guys think and if i'm saying that came out very pretty it must have came out really pretty to me because you guys know i'm not too big on pink not at all not at all We're gonna go ahead and that's the second coat we're gonna cure it for 30 seconds and on the site to make sure i'm getting these names right i'm not sure if these names or not but third coat so that's how it looks before the third cure cure and we're going to go ahead and put it again in the lamp for 30 seconds. And while I'm curing this, um, I like the bottle detail. I love gold. Um, but you see how I got like that gold ring around it? I like that. It's seven milliliters. Each bottle was seven. And it also supposed to show you which color they are. But since these are so translucent, um, you won't be able to tell. But that's a really cute touch to it. So here's the third cure. All right, we're going on to the next one. I think this one is cranberry, but I'm uncertain. Okay, cranberry might be my favorite. Yeah. We'll see after a cure, though, because it seemed like the colors kind of change a little bit after a cure. I was really feeling Miss Coco, but cranberry might be my favorite. So we're going to go ahead and cure that. Okay. This one might be my favorite. <laughs> so we're going to do three coats on this one as well. But this one looks more pigmented than the other ones. What you guys think? And this one looks like my kind of nude. Like, I love wearing nude on my hand. All right. Second coat. All right. We're about to apply the third coat. coat is done with the um cure let me know which one is you guys favorite so far <gasps> oh my god <laughs> i think this one might be my favorite this is definitely the type of nude i want. but i'm gonna go ahead and put it underneath the lamp And I am doing three coats so you guys can get the true color. Um, but if you guys purchase this, just see what works for you. You don't have to get three, you don't have to do three coats. Maybe you want to stop at the first coat. I think a French would be really cute. I think two coats for a French. And I'm so sad on this French, you guys. <laughs> So that's the second coat before curing. Yeah, that's the second coat before curing. By the third cure, you get the true pigmentation of it. These are so pretty. Here, I'm going to tap that up. You know what? The least I could do is put some lotion on. Just a second. That is the um, full color of the third cure. Um... 
I had to put some lotion on you guys. This is actually the nude I go for on a typical basis. Focus. But yeah. So we got two more to go. Can't really see the name on that one. My hands are too greasy now. Can't win. And I already shook these up. Oh, this one looks like more like a mocha. And I do suggest your coats to be thin coats because I think I did my second coat on the other one a little bit thicker. You can kind of tell, like, you see that right there got a little bulk to it. So try to do thin coats. With gel, you're supposed to do thin coats anyway. Right after I said do thin coats, this thick old coat come on her. <sighs> Sorry, guys. About to go ahead and cure it for the second time. All right, here's the second one. So here's the third coat. We're down to the last one. Let me know which one was you guys' favorite. To so the second coat. Second coat, and I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for a second time. Third before I cure. But third coat, and I'm actually gonna pull all of them over here so you guys can see. And just let me know which one is your favorite. And this is just a swatch video because um, I'm going to actually do, I think I'm going to end up doing a mini. Yeah, that's how I'm going to end up doing a manicure. Um, and I think I'm going to choose this one to do my manicure with. It's either this one or this one. Let me know which one was you guys' favorite. Um, let me scoot it over a little bit more so you guys can see. All right, that concludes this video, you guys. Let me know how you like um, this Born Pretty jelly set, um, a gel polish set. Again, it does not come with the base coat and the top coat, um, but they also have sets that does. Um, just make sure you just look on Amazon. Um, and... I had fun filming this video. Just let me know what you guys think down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you again for Born Pretty for gifting me these nail polishes. And I will talk to you guys later. Mwah, mwah, mwah.